Hello and welcome to another episode of Project Supercar where we're going to continue with the strip down of the Audi A6 donor car. Now, to get to this V6, this 2.7 twin turbo V6, I'm going to have to remove the front end. So I'll have to push the car out, drain some of the, or all of the coolant out, and remove the core support. But in, before I do that, I think I'll remove the side skirts, because they're, they've been bothering me, and they've just been hanging there, and I've got to remove them. It's messing with me OCD. First disaster. Oh no. Cut. <sighs> Just run over my tripod. Oh great. Straighten the leg out, so hopefully it'll uh, hold together while filming. Right, let's get this thing jacked up. Right, I'll just carry on removing the rest of these screws by hand. I don't have any of those Namby Pamby power tools on this channel, you know. this car back so I can get to the front. Yeah, push it back to get to the front. Okay. Keep me fit. Now I can get to the front so I can remove this core support and radiator. There's a plastic tray underneath, just got to remove that, I think there's one screw there, looks a bit rusty. Oh, that screw's gone. But yeah, let's pull this off and then I can drain the coolant. If you want to know 
how to remove the under tray on an Audi A6, there's six screws. Three along the bottom there, or the back, and then three along the front. You just turn them, it's a flat bladed, but flat blade screwdriver, just turn it 90 degrees, they pop off. Now sadly, I can't sell this one. It's all busted up. So, going to the skip. Ryan Little. <laughs> drain the coolant on this thing. Oh well, I'm going to take some investigation. I think I'll remove some of the easy stuff first so I can have a better look at the radiator. I'll start by removing these bumper supports. Um, these are where the bolts go. In the last video, when I removed the bumper, I pulled the bolts out. This is where they go. I don't think that's supposed to do that. Oh great. Something else that's broke. Yeah. Who needs power tools? <laughs> yeah, I do actually. <laughs> Please subscribe. I can get some sponsorship and someone will give me some power tools. I think it's a good job I'm scrapping this car. That bolt just sheared off. Right, let's try the other side. Maybe these do unclip. I thought they were riveted on. Might actually still be good. Ooh. Well, someone's been here before me. I don't know if you can quite make it out. There is a missing screw or bolt. Yeah, I know what the internet's like. If I say screw, I will have millions of comments. It's a bolt. Yeah, I know it's a bolt. plastic shrouds. Looks like there's a uh, small screw in there and it should unclip. Yeah. Just put the little screw back into the radiator. Oh no. I think it's gonna rain. Don't like the look of those clouds. Come on, I only need a couple of more hours. Don't want any rain. Yeah, 
started raining. Yeah, rain stops play. Well, it's good for me lawn. Well, it sort of stopped raining, um, but I don't want to chance it at the moment. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll pull these off, pull this off, and um, I want to find out where some of these hoses and wires and cables go, I think. out it looks like I've got to remove this strut brace that runs along the side of the battery underneath the servo Well, it's a few days later and it didn't stop raining and I'm out of time. So, um, it looks like we're going to have to pick up this episode later on. I mean, I've got the kit car show coming up this weekend, so I won't be able to do anything on the, uh, the donor car then. So I think after the kit car show, and I'll probably do some uh, videoing, and I'll probably do an episode on that. And then I think we'll get back to removing the core support. So I think that'll do for this episode. Sorry there's not much in it, but Anyway, you know, you've got something, you've got an episode. Um, so that'll do for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.